to the Hope Daily Devotional Series on the Book of Genesis. My name is Helen Grayson and I am from the Hope West Wickham Congregation. My devotional this morning is taken from Genesis 2 verses 18 to 25 and is all about God not wanting Adam to be alone. That God wanted to make a helper who was just right for Adam so that they could rule and reign on the earth together as God intended. We are told that God made all these wonderful creatures, animals and birds, and he brought them to Adam to name them. But thankfully, not one was found to be the helper just right for him. So God put Adam into a deep sleep, and while he slept, God took out one of the man's ribs and made a woman from the rib, bringing her to Adam. At last, Adam said, this one's bone from my bone and flesh from my flesh. She will be called woman because she was taken from man. From the very beginning, union between man and woman was what God intended. Marriage was always God's heart. That is why when a man leaves his father and mother and is joined, cleaved to his wife, the two are united into one. They are one flesh, complete, complementing each other. The rib was taken out of Adam and by becoming one flesh, again, they are complete. Paul compares this union in Ephesians with how Christ and the church are one, which is a great mystery. The union between man and woman reflects who Christ is to the church, his bride. Jesus loves us so much that he died for each one of us. He loves us because of who he is, not based on who we are. And we too can love because of who we are in Christ, not based on who others are. In John 17, Jesus says, I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one, and as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us, so that the world will believe you sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me, so they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. So we have this wonderful covenant with God and also covenant in marriage. A covenant bond is formed. Covenant is so very important to God. Covenants are not like agreements, they can't be broken. That is why if there is a separation, it is very painful as the one flesh is being torn in two. In Matthew 19, 6, the word says, so they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. How important it is to speak out the truth of God's word, to put boundaries in place so that people can hear truth, that they will not be deceived that our children and grandchildren will grow up knowing safe boundaries. The last verse of my passage says, Now the man and his wife were both naked, but they felt no shame. Why was there no shame? Because Adam and Eve, in the beginning, were living in complete harmony with God. How wonderful to live unashamed and know we can live in God's presence, in his peace. When we do things God's way, we can live in joy and freedom. I want to finish with praying for everyone listening today that we will not be deceived, that we will receive the truth of God's words and live in them, that we will be bold to speak the truth about God's intention for man and woman and highly esteem the covenant relationship we have with God and in every marriage. Amen.